So if you're wondering why I haven't done many videos recently for my channel, this is the reason why you can see it in front of you. This is the upgrade to the MPT synth that I have on the Reactor user library, which has been very popular. So thanks to everybody for the support on that. And um, it specializes in one finger chords. So it's a monophonic synth with six oscillators. And you can see that down here. So you can see these arranged with the mute buttons on. So at the moment, there's only one that's playing. And originally it was just for chords and pads, but now I'm expanding it to become something for bass. And on the right hand side, you can see this kind of modular looking step sequencer. That's great for patterned bass lines. Down here, this is a spectral analyzer. So as well as the oscilloscope up here, it's um, it's basically giving you a tool set for learning sound design. So I will do some lessons on that once um, I've got this thing finished. You know, for me, the next stage is to start building these presets. And also what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pass on a complete bank uh, for people within my underground music production group to create some presets. So it's a chance to get some sound design on something that other people can enjoy as well. So um, if you're interested in that, make sure you uh, get on the group. I mean, at the moment we've closed the group, by the way. Um, only recommendations. Um, if you know somebody who's in, who wants to get you in, then do so. Um, every now and again, if someone looks appropriate, we're gonna, we're gonna let them in as well. So coming back to this one, this is a bit different. All right, so I've set up a initialized sawtooth patch. I'm just going to take you through a couple of things and it's not an extensive tour. It's just kind of like a preview really. Um, so at the moment I've got to set up the initialized saw. Actually, I'll tell you what, give you a couple of presets. Um, that's uh, something I've called UK bass. This is a three oscillator bass patch. Another thing is the UK bass two. That, believe it or not, is a six oscillator bass. You can see all six being used. Um, a couple of pulses, one sign, another pulse, and two signs. So, you know, the, I'm still going with this whole concept of it being chords. Even though it's bass sounds, it's more than one voice. And you can only trigger one note at a time, right? This is not for all of you musical guys to play thick, heavy notes on the keyboards. Um, this is literally one finger chord or bass sound trigger, okay? And that's the concept, I'm gonna keep it that way. It makes it quirky, makes it a bit individual, and I'm happy with that. So let's just come back. I'm just gonna show you a couple of things here. So it's a really good one for kind of educational stuff. You know, one of the things that I experienced when I was teaching at Point Blank, you know, I taught in classrooms for over 10 years, uh, was that a lot of people struggled with the concept of envelopes. So I've changed the orientation of the controls. You can see you've got attack and decay as horizontal sliders because they're time-based. Sustain is a vertical slider because it's level based. Release is a horizontal slider because it's time based. All right, so attack, decay, and release are all times, whereas sustain is a level. And that's the thing a lot of people struggled with. So let me just show you here. This is a sawtooth. Just triggering off the QWERTY keyboard at the moment, by the way. And so sustain level is loud because it's maximum. So when I'm holding the keys down, once it's gone past the attack and decay phases, this is the volume it's gonna be. What if I reduce that? So you can see the waveform is shorter and you can hear it sounds different. Let's exaggerate that even more. So there we go, sustain level. So that's great. We've got the same thing going on with the filter envelope as well. So this is like the sustained frequency. This is gonna work if I bring this filter cutoff down, take the modulation amount up, and let's bring this down now. You hear that? And you can see the filter movement as well. Take that decay time a bit longer. Let's take the sustain frequency down. And let's take the cutoff right down as well so we get a full movement across that distance. You hear that? Exaggerate with that with some resonance. And look at the waveform display. So you can see that we go from the sawtooth to a sine wave quite a pure sound wave but this is what's great about this synth you get to see as well as hear what's happening so these envelopes i think it's one of the keys to it i think it's a real nice one just going to open up the filter here take off the resonance the other thing i'm going to do is going to turn on another oscillator watch the display so we've got the sawtooth going to bring on another one Bring the level down. 
and watch what happens now when I detune it. So fine tuning on the oscillator one to the left, fine tuning on the oscillator two to the right. So we've got the beginnings of a restart bass. So I'm going to take oscillator three, take the pitch down minus 12 to do a lower octave. And I love that waveform display, that's great. And also we get to see the frequency range, you know, from approximately 20 hertz on the left up to 20 kilohertz on the right on this display. So just uh, a couple more things I'll show you before I go. I'm going to basically bring that filter down. Take the mod amount down. So say you've got a filtered sound and you'll add a bit of bite to it. Look at this, this dust. It's like a digital dust. So that's quite useful for adding a little bit of high-end activity if you've got a filtered sound. That works really great with some of the chord pad things that I've got on the go. And um, let me just open this up. Let's bring on the reverb, which is a beautiful sounding reverb. Let me filter that down. This is mad. When you rotate that, you get some really interesting sound design. So yeah, Wicked Reverb and also the delay. This sounds great with a bit of cross feedback. Start to get that real kind of dubby. And this is great with the saturation too. You hear that? And uh, I'll tell you what I'll do. Let's just um, drop in one of these bass sounds and just bring on that sequencer. This is when we start to get into really interesting territory. The length of notes. Velocity and pitch of the whole sequence. And this is amazing. This, you know, you've got the amount of steps here, we can increase that. Anyway, I'm going to end it there. It's going to take me a few weeks um, to do all of these presets. And like I said, I'm going to invite the underground music production group to do their own presets as well. Then I'm going to upload it as the, uh, the, the new version on the reactor library. I'm probably going to keep the existing one where, it, where it is because I'm actually starting again with all the presets. So if you like that one, keep it uh, for those presets. It's going to be a brand new set of presets, but with the same theme, you know, this concept of literally chords, pads, stabs, all that kind of stuff, but basses that are specializing in multiple oscillator bass sounds. So essentially kind of chord bass patches, but you know, they're gonna sound great.